Thank you. 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 It's aimed to show sustainability in terms of beautiful places to preserve and places facing challenges worth changing. Tectonic music is a social entrepreneurship that unites artists from around the globe who are contributing to the conversation of wellness. We are so very ecstatic that our content in forms of concerts, videos, streams, recorded music, and wellness events have touched over 100 million people. Uh, we collaborate with organizations such as World Economic Forum, Save the Children, and where we're named UBS 2017 UBS Global Visionaries, alongside a dozen top selected social entrepreneur entrepreneurship platforms. Uh, this is us hanging out with the uh, president of the Netherlands being honored this year. Music has uh, held many roles throughout, throughout time, from spiritual tributes, work songs, entertainment, to storytelling, and even political statements. The number of people who consume and enjoy music uh, uh, is comparable to that of the number of people who take in food, water, and air. When you take into consideration, some of the songs online are now hitting the billions. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I wish we had all day together, then I could keep playing, but unfortunately we have 18 minutes, so we'll keep on going here. Uh, <laughs> one of the most powerful effects of sound and song is the instantaneous ability to evoke emotion and to tell story, to transport you to a time and a place and a feeling, right? You guys know that? Of course you do, right? It brings you right back to the place where you were, when you heard it and you saw it the very first time, right? Rewinding back, March 11th, 2011, Hawaii. I was in Hawaii when the disaster broke out on TV and on the news. The northern region of Sendai, Japan was hit with a massive earthquake, measuring 9.1 on the Richter scale. People around me were panicking. Uh, loudspeakers started to blast warning sirens and announcements saying to get to higher ground. I stayed up all night watching the news uh, as they kept saying that there was a chance that the tidal wave could increase in its size and it could destroy Hawaii as well. Luckily, Hawaii was spared and so was uh, most of my relatives on my mother's side in Japan, uh, all but one. My grandmother, Kumi Nagasawa, uh, at, the end, at the age of 90, uh, suffered a uh, big fall during the earthquake, and it really affected her. She broke her hip, and afterwards she fell into a deep dementia, and within only one year, uh, she passed away. Having lived through uh, decades of hardship, you know, dementia hits people, and, uh, and it deteriorates your body and your mind so quickly. And so we were all very shocked and uh, very saddened when this happened, obviously. And at that point, uh, I felt very helpless. I didn't know what to do, and I didn't know who to turn to. I wanted to find a way to use my music to create social impact, to support the people that have been affected. Uh, I then found that one of my very close friends, Yumi Kurosawa, who is a famous uh, Koto and Guten performer, had a very similar story as mine. Her aunt and her uncle were doctors in the area of Sendai, and she recalled to me their final story as, she sent, as they sent their final message to her, saying, we as doctors have sworn to care for our patients under every condition. Many of our patients at our hospitals are unable to be evacuated, and so we honor our commitment, and we will stay with our patients till the very end. And to this day, many, after many exhaustive uh, searches, their bodies have still not be been found. 
So then the question emerged, what are the most positive roles that music and art can play in well-being, in happiness, and positive impact in the world? A few decades ago, artists like Keith Richards, Jimi Hendrix, Bob Dylan, and many more led enormous movements of social change with their musical voices. While reading about their lives and their musical impact in comparison, I started to feel that music has started to fall flat in terms of its ability to make change. In 2017, U.S. National Public Radio even went so far as to say the future of protest music is up for debate. We are not them, and we are not that. The iconic punk rock musician David Byrne gave a great TED talk saying that in the relationship between music and architecture, oftentimes it was the architecture which influenced the way that music was composed. Reverberation in the church affected the length of the notes and the type of harmonies that could be played and that would sound good. The need for instruments that could project across an entire village affected the types of horns and drums that would be created and played. And of course, my favorite, the car as a venue spawned an entire culture and generation of bass music that I know we all love here. We are not them, and we are not that either. The further I examine the state of music and art, the more I accept the fact that we are not repeating or competing with the past, and that this is okay. Why? Because I started to discover an entire positive wave of energy and music that is pushing the needle in a great, fantastic, positive direction. Music is, in fact, being reevaluated. So rather than creating venues which then shape the music, I'm asking today, how can we create music and art which will help shape the design and the future of what we would like to live and experience? This is the root of the force of transformation in arts and business as they work together. One way is to look at arts-driven businesses and platforms which can be categorized in parallel with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. For those of you who haven't seen this, it's a list of global issues it's floating all over the world, which we as humans can tackle by the end of 2030 to reach, uh, to re to reach a sustainable and more importantly, a prosperous, harmonious existence with each other and the world. This notion is spreading fast and far across the world. In fact, my World Economic Forum Young Global Leader classmate, uh, Sherry Nursalem, and her teams in China and in Indonesia have actually drawn a beautiful parallel between the Sustainable Development Goals and traditional Chinese ideals for happiness, which you can see right here, falling in the areas of spiritual, ecological, and people. Looking further, a platform like Global Citizen Festival by Hugh Evans is one of the largest festivals in the world now which combines celebrity with voices of policy. It is an acts-driven, rewards-based model, which allows people to earn their tickets to events by volunteering, by writing, and sharing content around the fight on global poverty. With groups of 20 to 100 friends and family, groups such as 20 world leaders, uh, you know, in part partnership with YouTube and World Economic Forum, and, tech, and us Tectonic, uh, all the way to groups the size of 50,000 here in Shanghai uh, at the Shanghai Fashion Weekend with IPCN, Tectonic has been using music to remediate negative impact in areas facing trauma, disaster, and help people better understand and reduce stress while increasing their bandwidth for harmony and resilience. The platform Playing for Change funds and creates music schools across developing nations. They have funded 12 music programs across nine countries and they're reaching over a thousand students a week. Their videos are almost up to about 39 million views on some of their top videos. And through av uh, advertising revenue and donations, they put almost three quarters of a million dollars to work each year. Looking at the, the World Economic Forum, recently launched the first tour of the Zora Women's Orchestra of Afghanistan, uh, whose very existence stands for the empowerment of women's creativity and voice. These women are the first of their families and the first of their city, first of their country to play and perform music in over 30 years. BlackRock's Golbi Kamari uh, created uh, the uh, BlackRock Meditation Program and out of all the participants, 
uh, that were taking part in the uh, mindfulness programs that they installed in their, in their company, over 93% of the folks said that they felt an increase in productivity. That certainly is good jobs and economic growth that I know everyone here will appreciate. Tile Yard Studio in London is one of the leading spaces covering uh, the entire value chain of music. Uh, it's, it's the future of, of the model, uh, it's the future model of infrastructure, innovation, and creativity. Everything from where hit song makers uh, collaborate to where famous artists record, and even where business and development deals are created, all in parallel, all in real time, all in one place. This is also one of my favorite models. It's great for productivity, it's great for creativity, and it's ripe for China, and it's ripe for the rest of the world right now. We spoke to Jet Li, and his one foundation uh, reported that uh, the greatest increase in attendance and academic performance took place in their schools where they created music education programs. The Land Philharmonic reuses waste materials in developing areas to create beautiful musical instruments. El Sistema has given a platform for underserved communities to incubate an entirely new industry of creativity and positivity, reducing crime and creating sustainable cities and communities. Many of their uh, participants and musicians have gone on to become world-class performers, including the maestro conductor of the Los Angeles Philharmonic, Gustavo Dudamel, as seen here. Will Young and the uh, WWF, the World Wildlife Federation, created a stunning impact piece featuring uh, beautiful places in the environment, endangered species, and sites around the world which we should continue to love and sustain. Does it work? Well, Justin Forsyth, the CEO of Save the Children, said, in my experience, the benefits of celebrity are not fabled, but they are real and they can produce concrete results. Without the campaigning energies of Bono, Bob Geldof, Richard Curtis, for example, I don't believe that 46 million children would be in school today in some of the world's poorest communities. So this is what it's really all about. How do we unite? Uh, how do we bring everyone together? Everyone that's here and everyone we know, right? This is the most important one out of all the 17. We must bring everyone together to unite for positive change that's great for the world. Think about the rich culture and the vast history you have around you and how each and every one of you can use that to architect an amazing future for everyone. Every day we hear about transformative technology, transformative experiences, learning journeys, retreats, and now even the concept of study vacation. What is it? Yo shui, right? Yo shui, when you go and you do and you learn, right? And you live. So, why not support art, the most instantaneous and transformative experiences of all? These are, these are examples of how art and business inspire and support one another, right? And create big change. So, what do we do, right? Who is it? It's everyone. It's everyone. Everyone loves music. Everyone loves art. We can all come together. And what do we do? We support music. We support music education. We partner with it. We support music as a modality for healing, for productivity, and sustainability, right? When do we do it? We do it now, and we do it always, right? Where do we do it? We do it locally and globally. We start right here, and we create a resonance that's felt everywhere in the entire universe. Why do we do it? It's obvious, because harmony heals. Every time you share anything, remember, Harmony heals. Every time you, you take a video about music or you do something music and art related, harmony heals, right? It's the way to go. And how you can work with us to create programs for your community, for your workplace, or for your vision of wellness. We'll be here you know, afterwards and happy to talk with anybody and keep the conversations going. Remember now, you are what you eat, including the music and the art that you consume. The great maestro of the San Francisco uh, Symphony, Mr. Michael Tilson Thomas said, you never know who might be listening and how much it means to their life. Thank you.